You're listening to the number one real estate podcast where we talk with real estate agents and professionals all across North America about their wins, losses, lessons, stories to help you win in your local market today. My name is Cody from Sheridan Street. This is a single episode. And today I want to chat about scripting. And I want to chat about how to set more in-person meetings for your real estate business. We've had the opportunity to work with real estate agents all across North America and we've had the opportunity to chat with some really successful teams that one of our mentors, Sharon Travatsara, advises. And I want to give you this simple framework today in order to set more in-person meetings with your online leads. And I want to give you this really simple framework that's really going to help you excel going into 2023. It's really going to help you more than anything become the educator in the online space. I was actually interviewed on a podcast today. One of the questions I asked was like, how do you get more online leads or how do you get more leads into in-person meetings? And there's no question in my mind that what we did in 2020, what we did in 2021, what we did in 2022 will not suffice for 2023. We've already seen that inventory rates have dropped. We've already seen that the market has gotten a lot harder. The available, the actual available inventory is less and it's what's required of us in order to get people from contract to close requires a lot more. But what I want to do today is I want to unpack a script that Sharon actually has given our agency as, as added value to our clients so that they can get, they can take somebody that might be on the fence about moving or might be on the fence about uh, buying or selling real estate and get them over the finish line. And it's really, really simple. When you're on the phone with somebody, you're having a conversation about real estate or or if, even if you're in person, use this framework. It's called the why don't we so that framework. And it goes really simple. All you have to do is when you're in a conversation, you're going to dig deeper. You're going to build emotional rapport with the person. You're going to ask them uh, deeper questions about who they are, what they do. Why are these things important to them? You really want to get down to the nitty gritty of like, why is that they're moving? And what is their important criteria for a specific home? Like, for example, it's the backyard that they're looking for. Like, why is that backyard important to them? I think for the most part, real estate agents are great at doing that. And if you're listening to this podcast right now, you're probably really great at asking really good questions and you're probably really great at that. But what I want to, what I wanted to, um, really what I want to share with you is a framework that a lot of the agents that Sean was advising wasn't using up until the point where we had this conversation about the, why don't we, so that framework goes really simple. You're going to ask the, every prospect that you come in contact with, you're going to say this exact same thing. Don't change it because this works. Has anyone taken the time to talk to you about the top three things that you need to consider in order to win in the market when you are ready to buy? I'm going to say it one more time. And I'm, I'm going to rephrase it a little bit this time. Has anyone taken the time to talk to you about the top three things you need to consider when you win, in order to win in the market when you are ready? What this allows the prospect to do is answer because the vast majority of agents have, are not educating the market. So for the most part, that conversation of that, like majority of the clients are going to tell you, no, no one's taking the time to walk me through the top three things I need to consider on whether I should or shouldn't buy real estate. For the most part, people, if I just want information around real estate, they just start going, show me homes, but no one's taking the time to educate me on whether I should or shouldn't buy based on my specific circumstance. The name of the game right now is buyer presentations. You need to set more meetings, more appointments, more belly-to-belly -belly conversations. And what these belly-to-belly -belly conversations allow you to do is you're going to understand on a deeper level what why are buyers on the sidelines right now? What's holding them? How can you articulate your message on a deeper level so that you can actually get them to take action? And then what you can do is you can take this presentation that you're doing and actually run a buyer like seminar or a buyer webinar and you can start to go to the masses, but you need to be able to perfect it belly to belly, get to understand the language that they're using in order to create a really effective buyer presentation that goes out to the masses in the form of a webinar. So that, like I mentioned, the first thing you're going to ask the prospect is you're going to say, has anyone taken the time to talk to you about the three reasons, uh, the, the top three things you need to consider in order to win in the market when you're ready? They're going to say no. In order to set the in-person meeting, every single call that you do, the focus should be booking an in-person meeting. This is what you're going to say. You're, they're going to say no to you. And you're going to say, why don't we find 15 minutes in the calendar to meet at Starbucks? And before the coffee gets cold, what I'll do is I will sit down and walk you through the top three things on whether top of three reasons why you should or shouldn't buy in today's market so that we can help you make an informed and intelligent decision 
so that you're ready and you have all the information you need in order to make a good decision when you are ready to buy. How does that sound? Do mornings or afternoons work better? What you're doing is the why don't we so that is you're leading with from an advisor standpoint. Think about a financial planner. They generally will sit down as a trusted advisor with everyone so that they can create a roadmap and a game plan. And that's really what the, we call the game plan frame is you're creating a game plan of whether they should or shouldn't buy. You're not sending them to a lender first. You're sitting down with them and figuring out what is their specific circumstance. Because even if that person doesn't necessarily buy what that gives you the ability to do is ask for a referral. Even if they decide, hey, this isn't the right time for us. Cool. Do you know anyone else that might find this information useful? Would you mind making an introduction so I can essentially present the same information on whether they should or shouldn't buy in today's home? And you've essentially taken one client and you've turned it into two and you've turned two into four and you've turned four into eight and you turned like the numbers are incredible. If you just make your focus, how many appointments can I set on a weekly basis? It just starts with one. It starts with you educating one person can turn into two. You educate two people can turn into four. You educating four people can turn into eight. You and so on and so forth. That's the encouragement I want to give you headed in this market. If you really want to crush 2023, all the top agents that we're advising from across the country are treating every lead with respect and care because they know that inventory is less. They know that transactions are down. What we need to do is we need to educate clients on whether they should or shouldn't buy. Something I really want you to consider using that frame. And then if you notice what I did at the very end is I mentioned the, I, I actually followed up with that. It's like, do mornings or afternoons work better? Add a sorting question in so that you can make it apparent that the focus is to set the in-person meeting. I hope you had a ton of value today. I hope that you take this frame. I hope that you run with it with your FISBOs, your expireds. I hope that you run with this frame with your online leads so that you are able to book more in-person meetings and you're able to have the best possible year you've ever experienced in your real estate business. I want to say thank you for tuning in another episode of the Our Agent Podcast. We will see you soon.